think that femininity symbolizes like resilience and beauty and the beauty of like resilience and so when I want to feel really strong I I kind of dress aggressively feminine. I identify as queer. I love women. I love the female form. I love femininity. I think everything it symbolizes is really beautiful and I think in terms of how I dress I definitely show that. I definitely like to dress up and be girly. But I also vibe with like conventionally feminine silhouettes and patterns and like dresses and skirts. But like I don't vibe with conventional expectations for femininity and like what it means to like behave femininely. I think that when I was younger, I craved attention more. I was really fixated on like people seeing me and people looking at me. I didn't, I didn't want to like blend in, I still wanted a lot of attention, but I also really wanted to be accepted and included, and so I think I dressed more like other people and less to my body and my sensibility. And so now I think that I have a better sense of who I am and what I like, and I like things that are one of a kind, and I like things that have stories, and I like to stumble upon pieces I love vintage shopping because of that. I love to find weird, unique, interesting things. I really love this dress. Um, it's vintage Betsy Johnson for starters, so when I found it I had to buy it. And then I love the movie Almost Famous. Everyone loves the movie Almost Famous. And I was looking at pictures of the premiere for some reason one night for fun, and I saw that Feruza Balk, she plays Sapphire, she's also in The Craft, she's crazy and awesome. Um, she was wearing this dress to the premiere and it made me love it even more because it has more of a story now. I love to wear things that have stories. So I'm the child of a textile designer and I always obsessively followed design and fashion even as a little kid. I was always on the pulse of what was happening there even when I was like pretty young. I like I would always use phrases like oh that's in for this season and everyone around me would be like what are you talking about? You're 12. How do you know that? And so I still am very much into obsessively following fashion and consuming fashion, but obviously I cannot afford couture. Um, but I still, I still, I think in following it, it's easier to be influenced by it and sort of pick up on colors and textures and patterns and silhouettes that are emerging in the fashion world. And I look for it when, I, when I'm vintage shopping. And everything is influenced by something that came before. So typically when you're vintage shopping, you can find like pieces of the era that that specific designer is referencing. As a woman, you're taught to be very conscious of, of your exterior from a pretty young age. And I think that's pretty much existed since the dawn of objectification and time. And so because of that, you pay a lot of attention to your body and your skin and your hair and your body hair. Um, you know, that aspect of, of the packaging of the exterior isn't something you have a ton of control over, but clothing and accessories and attire is something that you can be very deliberate about and have a lot of freedom in and autonomy over and can really say something and convey something. It's a tool for expression and communication and um, you know, for me, I use it kind of to show that I'm a thoughtful person, but also kind of a funny person.